Number five is time management. Uh, I obsess over my time management um, because I want to get things done. Uh, I want to carry a full load. I want to be able to do more probably than what the average person can do. Um, I use Evernote uh, for pretty much everything because it's Evernote. So I use it for everything. All my email. I don't know if you knew it, but you can automatically forward all your email that you want to Evernote and, and automatically tag it in different ways. Uh, just look up uh, if you if you're interested in how to uh, set your Evernote up most usefully. There's a thing called Secret Weapon, what Evernote. Just Google Secret Weapon and Evernote, and there's a tool in there where I send things to my Evernote, and I send them as either a one now, I'm going to do it now, or two next, or three soon, or four it's impending, and I've got, I go up to nine things. And everything in my email that I'm wanting to deal with or have to deal with, or I know my team is going to make me deal with, I don't like having things in my inbox. I forward it into Evernote. That way I can search for it. All my training goes into Evernote. I've got about 3,000 illustrations or quotes like this thing I just pulled out of R.T. Kendall's book, The Anointing. That's all sitting there in Evernote. Um, somebody calls me and they need me to write a class or I'm, I'm, I'm doing I'm, I'm doing a leadership training this week that I've never done before and I've got four new sessions and boy everything I needed to do for those four new sessions came out of Evernote and uh, but I'm doing that because I'm trying to save my time I'm trying to manage my time um, I try to plan my time a week in advance uh, rather than being a leader who gets up and just lets the next text guide what I'm going to do next or the next email guide what I'm doing next that's not leadership. <laughs> You know, if your text is guiding you or if your email stream is keeping you busy all day long, you're not in charge of it. It's in charge of you. You know, so I don't do it uh, during the day. I, I, I come to it periodically. Uh, I decide what I'm going to do on a week to week basis ahead of time as to I'm going to Monday doing this and Tuesday doing this. And it's, it's hard. And I, I don't think I've ever actually set the perfect schedule that didn't get interrupted. So I've never landed the plane, but I'm constantly working on my time management because if you're going to go out and start a church, there's nobody watching you. There's nobody looking over your shoulder, except once the church has started, the people are watching you and they're deciding whether they really can trust you on the basis of whether they respect you or not. And, and, and if you're a pastor and you get a reputation for being lazy or disorganized, it's over. You're not going to have their attention. You're not, they're not going to trust you. They're not going to follow you. You won't have influence. 